Hello, Star Frost here back again for a deck profile. Uh, a Travigate deck profile. I know you've probably seen this deck on this YouTube channel a lot, but I like it. I really like Travigate. Uh, this one is with some of the branded stuff, a, tri a branded brigade, if you will. Uh, and I just wanted to share what I've had uh, currently with you. I don't think it's great, and it probably has a few kinks to work out still, but with what I've tested so far, it's working out pretty well. Uh, so let's get started. Starting off with three Fractals, three Nervals, three Kits, and two Crafts for the Tribrigade Core. Uh, this works out really well. Uh, as long as you start off with one of them, you can usually try to get off a little bit. Because if you start with Nerval or Kit, you can normal summon one of them, uh, go into Al Mirage, and just start the chain there to start trying to just link off. You know, uh, if you start with Caress, you can uh, you can if you start with Caress and Kit, you can use Caress effects to send Kit to special summon. Then use Kit effect to get more into the graveyard. You can start off with the Call. You can use that's the best starter. You can probably draw for uh, Tri-Brigade specifically. Because if you start with it, you can use its effect in hand, send it to the graveyard, to send Kit, to send Nerval, to add another Tri-Brigade. And it just is great to get it going. And with Fractal, I'm sorry, with uh, Kit, you can send uh, Mercurier to the graveyard as well. Uh, same thing with Crash's effect, I believe. To send it to the graveyard and uh, banish it with one of the Brigade effects to get Mercurius effect off to get a uh, branded fusion from deck to hand. So it just sets off uh, either full Brigade combo or you can even get out one of the branded fusion monsters. So it's just a great way to with the uh, new with the new uh, branded stuff from the structure deck. It's just a great way to get them going. Then some of the new stuff we have three Spriggan's kit because with this when it's normal and special you can add branded to you to make like your hand. This is a great way to get things going. Uh, then I do run two Fall of Albaz uh, and one Albion in the main deck uh, just because I I tested with only one Fall of Albaz and two Fall of Albaz uh, along with one Fallen and one Albion. I think this just works the best for, or at least it's worked the best for what I've played. Uh, then I do run one Mercurier. It is super easy to get Mercurier into the graveyard and banish it with one of the Tribrigate effects. Uh, it's just super easy to do. Uh, then I run two Rescue Cats as well to try and get into a Link 2, because with Rescue Cat I can get both a uh, Kit and a Nerval to the field, go into a Link 2, bring out another uh, Beast from my hand with a Farragut, and go into a Link 3 into, into the Silver Shuttle, right? It's just an easy way for me to Link Prime, and it's a solid normal spell. Uh, then for Hand Traps, I'm running three Effect Veiler, two Ash, and two Ghost Bells. Might be kind of weird, but I like it. With how many effect monster effects are getting activated right now, Effect Trailer is key in most decks nowadays. With Ash, so many things are actionable nowadays. Like, uh, I believe, Branded Fusion? Uh, I'm not sure, don't quote me on that, but there are so many things Ash can just stop with meta. Uh, similar with Ghost Bell, Ghost Bell is just great. If you don't have it, what are you doing? Uh, then on to spells. Uh, I, do, I do play three Branded Fusion because I want to see it as early as possible. Like, it's one of those cards where as long as you open with it, you're golden. You know, uh, one tanky to try and get to the Fractal. Uh, I do run. Only two triple tactics talents because I only have two. 
if I had a third, I'd probably run three. Uh, one called by, one harpy's feather duster, and one monster revolt. Uh, kind of different for the one ofs, right? One called, one harpy's, one monster of one. But I like it. I uh, you'll see more spawn trap removal in the side deck just from what I decided to do. Uh, but I thought these would be interesting, you know, to say the least. Uh, then for trap cards to round them off, uh, three imperms because they're kind of necessary at this point, and they're super easy to get with the structure deck, the cyber style structure deck, I believe. Uh, and I do play one three volts. One, I think is. I did want to play it at two, but with this not being like a pure variant of uh, Tri Brigade, I thought one would be fine, and so far it's been fine. It's mostly because of Branded Fusion. If I was able to Link Summon during the turn I played Branded Fusion, then I'd play more revolts, but since I can only Fusion Summon the turn I play that card, I think one is fine. One is really all you need. Uh, then for the extra deck. Uh, I'm playing one Lubellion, uh, two Mirror Jade, one Alba Linatus that I got the last time I went to Locals from the Yu-Gi-Oh guys, uh, one uh, Brigrin, yeah Brigrin the Glory Dragon, and the one that I'm kind of uh, tempted to take out Albion, uh, it just doesn't have a lot of use in the deck other than when it gets Sun to be a for fusion. That's really it. Uh, that's the branded stuff. Then for the links, I got one Elmirage, like I said earlier, for just starting out. You know, if I draw like a bad hand. Uh, one Farragut. Uh, one Bear Brum. Uh, one Double Dragon Wards. One Silver Sheller. It with Farragut. And Silver Sheller, it's super easy to go from Farragut to Silver Sheller with Farragut's effect to, I think, I believe, discard one and special summon one level four beast from your hand, so you can just go from into Farragut, then into Silver Sheller. Uh, then I run two Ominous Omens. I know most people only play one, I like running two. Because if I do play Revolt, I can activate it on my opponent's turn, bring this guy out, and use it on their on their turn. Where that has won me like a few games. Uh, then the last two, one Axis Code for just powering through, and one Appalusha for those uh, monster names. Just when I need it. Then for the side deck, it's a bit of a strange side deck, but I have. Three Nibiru and three Gadarla for the monster stuff. Uh, I play Gadarla specifically for uh, for Founderies, solely for Founderies, and this deck can usually get over it fairly simple. Uh, three Dimensional Barriers for those specific decks. Like if they do play a brand of fusion, I can just be like, hey, fusion types done. Uh, three Twin Twisters, because if I do start with this and uh, either Kit or Naval, I can discard them, get rid of uh, back row, and start the Tri Brigade cycle, basically. Uh, then three Dark Ruler No More, because I do believe that this is a great card still. I love this card. You can get it from the uh, Spur Charmer structure deck at the very least. That's where these three came from specifically, but it is a really good card. But that is the deck profile. I hope you all enjoyed it. I know I love I know I like the deck. Anytime I get to use Tri Brigade I am happy. And I will see you all in the next video.